Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to be a short tutorial on the new LEGO Fortnite mode. After you've created an island, you will spawn at a random place and you'll find Cuddle Team Leader who is there to kind of give you instructions. I recommend that you talk to her a lot because she's going to give you useful tips as to where you can find resources, where you can find food, how you can build stuff and how you can actually start to build a village. As you spawn on the island, you will pretty much have nothing. I recommend that you first start off by grabbing some pumpkins and some raspberries, depending on where you've spawned, so that you don't get hungry. And after that, you want to get started on harvesting wood and granite. The granite you won't be able to get without a tool, so pick up the ones that are lying around on the floor. And for wood, you can destroy small shrubs and small trees, but you won't be able to destroy the big ones unless you have a pickaxe. The first thing that you want to do is build a campfire. You can unlock this recipe by talking to Cuddle Team Leader and eventually she's going to say that you need a spot to stay warm. The only thing you need for this is wood. When night falls, your character is going to get cold and unless you stay close to the campfire, you're going to end up taking damage and that is not what you want. It might also start to rain relatively quickly, so you want to build a small shed and in that shed I will place a crafting bench. You need a lot of wood for this and also a lot of granite. The crafting bench can be upgraded later on in the game to make better weapons etc. But in order to start off your adventure, go ahead and create an axe and a pickaxe. You use the pickaxe to destroy rocks and obtain more granite, and you use the axe to cut down larger trees and collect more wood. By this point you might also start to run into enemies. If you get overwhelmed, make sure to run back to your campfire, Cuddle Team Leader will be there and she knows how to deal with them. Another important thing you should build is a village square. This thing can be upgraded as well, it's going to require a lot of materials and you need to complete several objectives in order to do so. But the village square is going to help to turn your little campsite into an actual village and it's going to attract new people, which you can eventually ask to stay in your village and then you can also give them jobs or ask to go with you on explorations and stuff like that. In order to get a villager to stay in your village, you need to have a separate bed for them. So you need to have at least a total of two beds, one for yourself and one for the villager that you'd like to move in. Once you've set all of this up, that's pretty much all of the basic things that you need to know. From this point onwards, you can start upgrading your village, you can upgrade your workbench, you need to go out and explore, but just make sure that you bring enough food and eventually you can build a little farm so that you can collect eggs and stuff like that. I'm gonna play this game mode a lot, I really enjoy it, and whenever I come across difficult stuff, I'll make sure to publish a guide for it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below, and enjoy your adventure!